For some reason, and I don't really know why, I love trivia. One of the reasons I fell so in love with Star Wars is just the vast amounts of absolutely useless knowledge there is to take in. And I have no illusions about that fact. I love Star Wars Trivial Pursuit. I participate in a trivia contest at Dragon Con every year. I just love trivia. So today I'm trying out something a little different and I'm calling it Star Wars 101. The name means it's meant to be like an introduction to Star Wars trivia, but there are also 101 facts in here. There's a mixture of well-known and really obscure information, so a little something for everybody. And I'm just gonna spit these out rapid fire, so here we go. 101 facts from Star Wars Episode 4, A New Hope. The first ship seen in any Star Wars movie is Princess Leia's blockade runner, the Tantive IV. Darth Vader's Star Destroyer is called the Devastator. This silver 3PO droid is named U-3PO. This rebel trooper's name is Pello Scrambus. This rebel trooper's name is Carisso Smatis. The captain of the Tantive IV is Ramus Antilles, and he has no relation to Wedge Antilles. 3PO fears being sent to the spice mines of Kessel, which can be seen in Star Wars Rebels. 3PO and R2's escape pod lands in the Dune Sea. The skeleton 3PO walks by is the skeleton of a crate dragon. R2 travels through an area called the Jundland Wastes. Sand crawlers were originally mining vehicles that were abandoned by the mining companies. The Jawas took control of them after that. This droid is R5-D4, and he was controversially a Force-sensitive droid in Star Wars Legends. This is a gonk droid, and it's basically a giant walking battery. The creatures the Sand Troopers ride are called Dewbacks. In Legends, the name of the Stormtrooper that finds evidence of droids is named Davin Felf. Uncle Owen asks if 3PO can speak Bachi, which is a well-known trade language throughout the galaxy. Tashi Station can actually be seen in a deleted scene featuring Biggs. Luke is playing with a model of his T-16 Skyhopper, which is visible just outside. The planet Tatooine isn't actually said by name until the Empire Strikes Back. Blue Milk comes from Banthas. When Luke talks about transferring to the Academy, he actually means the Imperial Academy. Owen dislikes Obi-Wan because he blames him for Anakin's supposed death. Tatooine's sons are named Tatu-1 and Tatu-2. The Tusken Raider that attacked Luke is literally named ur 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 ur, -ur. Obi-Wan's cry was meant to imitate a crate dragon. Admiral Mahdi is the name of the man Darth Vader chokes. General Tag is the name of the only guy in that room with any sense. Wolf Yalaren is the name of this man, and he plays a notable role in the Clone Wars series. This interrogator droid model is ITO, but I prefer Dr. Ball. A YT-2400 can be seen flying away from Moss Eisley, a ship made famous by Dash Rindar in Star Wars Legends. These large creatures are called Rontos. The Moss Eisley Cantina is actually called Chalman's Cantina, and settle in, cause we're gonna spout off a ton of names from random background characters here. Chalman, the owner of the cantina, was a Wookiee. The name of the band playing is Figrin Dan and the Modal Nodes. Figrin Dan is the leader of the band, and he plays the clue horn. Nalan Cheel played the band fill. Tedden Dahai played the fanfar. Soon Il Idi played the drum. Ikabel Gaunt played the double jossamer. Tech Moore played the omnibox. And Doik Knotts played the Doranian Beshnikwell. The first song we hear them play is called Mad About Me. Their second song is called Dune Sea Special. This device is a droid detector and it alerts the bartender to the presence of any unwelcome droids. The bartender's name is Woo Her. This Sauron female is Saitor Kyle Faz from the planet Dirk Teal. This Arcona male is Him Dazon. This female Chandra fan is Cabe. This guy is a Deveronian named Cardu Sai Malak. These girls are Carolee Doolin and Shada Dukal, female warriors from the Mistral Shadow Guards. This guy is a Corellian named Boshek. Dice Ibigon is the name of this thing. Her actual race was Lamproid. Ketwal is the name of this male Pacifip. This smoking Sarkan is named Melas. The Hammerhead is an Athorian named Maumau Nadon. Muftak is this male Tals. This is an Abyssin scout named Mayo. 
Pons Limbic is the Cinetine male nicknamed Brainiac. The guys that pick a fight with Luke are Pond Baba and Dr. Evazon, who probably just came in from Jeddah. And finally, this smoking man is Danik Jericho. Han claims to have made the Kessel Run in less than 14, I mean 12 parsecs. A parsec is a unit of distance, not time, and he's basically boasting that he took a shorter, but far more dangerous route and survived. Han's blaster is a modified DL-44. The spy that follows Luke and Obi-Wan is a Kubaz named Garandan. The bounty Jabba the Hutt put on Han and Chewie was for 50,000 credits. The Millennium Falcon is a YT-1300 Corellian freighter. The dice that can be seen hanging in the Falcon were the same dice used in the game of Sabacc, where Han won the ship from Lando Calrissian. The Hollow Chess game is officially called Dejeric. In a Clone Wars episode, an advertisement for a Dejeric club prohibits Wookiees from participating, probably due to an arm-ripping incident. Leia's lie about a rebel base on Dantooine saves the life of General Tag, who was sent away from the Death Star to investigate her claim. These little droids are MSE-6 repair droids, or mouse droids. They were meant to keep the floors clean, carry messages, and guide troops to their posts, as seen here. The guy that asks why TK-421 isn't at his post is named Pol Tratum. During his computer access on the Death Star, R2 downloads Imperial Archives that include a map that will become important over 30 years later. Turbo lifts on the Death Star move vertically and horizontally. The monster that attacks Luke in the trash compactor is called a Dianoga. The Arabesh on this terminal reads Power, Tractor Beam. It was written in English in the original cut of the film. Stormtroopers discuss new BT-16s, which is referenced in Rogue One when the Stormtroopers mention BT-15s becoming obsolete. The Rebel General giving the Death Star briefing is Jan Dodonna. The weakness in the Death Star has recently been revealed to have been intentionally planted by one of the station's designers, Galen Erso. Biggs claims Luke is a great pilot, and he would know because the two of them have been flying together since childhood. Red Leader is named Garvin Drace. In order of check-in, Red 10 is Theron Net. Red 7 is unidentified in canon, but named Elhiek Ru in Legends. Red 3 is Biggs Darklighter. Red 6 is Jack Porkins. Red 9 is also unidentified in canon, and named Nazo Natan in Legends. Red 2 is Wedge Antilles. Red 11 is Winton Chan in Legends. And Red 5 is Luke's call sign. The previous Red 5 died at the Battle of Scarif, as seen in Rogue One. S-foils were movable wings on starfighters like the X or B wings. Gold Leader is Dutch Vander. Gold 2 is Dex Tyree. Gold 3 is Avon Verlaine, and the only Y-Wing pilot to survive the Battle of Yavin. Gold 5 is Davish Pops Crail. The Y-Wings used in the Battle of Yavin were stolen from the Imperial Reclam Station in Star Wars Rebels. Darth Vader's TIE Fighter is called the TIE Advanced X-1. In Legends, the TIE Fighter squadron that flew with Vader was Black Squadron. The only other Imperial with any sense who recommended preparing Grand Moff Tarkin's shuttle is Chief Bast. The TIE pilot that Han shoots is known as Backstabber. The TIE pilot that hits Vader is nicknamed Mauler Mythel. Despite appearances, Chewbacca did actually receive a medal for his participation in the battle. And there you go, 101 random pieces of trivia from Star Wars Episode 4, A New Hope. I'm treating this video as just a test, but if it goes over well, I might do this same thing with the other films. So let me know if you enjoyed this in the comments. If you haven't already, please like this video, subscribe to the channel, follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook, and consider checking out my Patreon page. As always, thanks for watching, and may the Force be with you.